Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Burr, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, August 24th, and I welcome to Black Monday, as it's being dubbed today. Crazy, crazy, crazy day to wake up to here in the U.S. here. Uh, nothing on the calendar here, but why is it being called Black Monday? Well, the stock market's down a lot. Uh, the Dow is actually down at 1.1100 uh, uh, so far this morning. Right now, it's pulled back some. Uh, it's been kind of ranging between in the 300 range to about the 600 range. So it's been kind of fluctuating a little bit uh, of late, uh, but it's going back and fe going back and forth. Why is this happening? Uh, China, uh, of course. Uh, lack of assistance from the People's Bank of China uh, spooking the market. So basically, over the weekend, people were kind of expecting, investors were expecting uh, the PBOC to step in and create some more liquidity in the markets over there. And they did, because they didn't do anything, uh, the whole market just tanked. Uh, China had one of the worst losses in history, it dropped 8% in the market, and just kind of went on from there around the globe from Europe to the U.S. And it's spooking the markets a lot because people are kind of wondering, okay, is the situation in China much worse than what they what they thought? I mean, uh, they're kind of considering as to what's really going on over there and the data they're seeing is not getting any better. And now they're losing confidence in the Chinese government into trying to um, stabilize the market over there. Uh, meanwhile, we've got things like oil dropping down to 39 bucks a barrel now as a result. Uh, it's creating the question as to maybe this could create some deflationary as the these emerging markets, uh, yawn and a lot of their currencies drop further, uh, which will create more pressure on our inflation. So cost of goods coming in will cost less. Uh, so that could create less inflation, of course, as we see the oil dropping uh, in this situation. So this also raises concerns about what's going to happen in September with the possible rate hike. So they're now they're kind of projecting as the the odds of it happening are dropping down to about 15% now from 45 earlier, uh, if it even happens this year now, because a lot of the stuff that's going on here. Some other concerns that could arise is because the stock market's been tanking so bad, especially fast down, and typically money goes into the bond market. They might have to cover those losses, take money out of that, and put it into it. So we may not see that as much as we may uh, normally see. Uh, so today, look at it here. Uh, even though it's red, it's going down, but we're at a much higher level uh, where we started the day above that 200-day moving average. We did touch on it and pulled back. Uh, we're up actually about 15 basis points so far this morning, so that's enough for a price improvement in our rates. We did obviously have much more, uh, but with the losses, so we're down for the day, but we're up uh, from when we left off on Friday, which is good. Uh, news for bonds, obviously not good for stock market. All right, so we do have an improvement in the interest rates today in pricing. So uh, if you're floating, I would uh, might, might want to look into locking as we don't know if, how long this might last. Uh, this could be a knee-jerk reaction to China, and then next uh, tomorrow could quickly change. So keep in mind that this week, we'll probably even though we got a lot of data coming out, they may look at China to see what's going on over there because now with this whole inaction, uh, kind of spooked the markets. China's going to be on a lot of the investors' minds this week, so going forward. So be careful, even though there could be some good economic data or even bad, uh, whatever comes out of China could be uh, on, the fore on the forefront of the information or what their thoughts will be. Okay? Be prepared for a very volatile week this week. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.